Hey, Pop. Hey, Rock. Hello. Oh. This video concerns Hadamar matrices, which are the foundation for Hadamar transforms. We review well-known ideas and history. Here are four examples of Hadamar matrices. Properties of these Hadamar matrices include the following. They contain only ones and minus ones. All rows are mutually orthogonal. All columns are mutually orthogonal. A Hadamard matrix times its transpose equals n times the identity matrix, and the absolute value of the determinant of the Hadamard matrix equals n raised to the n over 2. These properties are listed here. The last four properties are equivalent to each other. Here's an example of mutually orthogonal rows and columns. We compare the second and third rows of this Hadamard matrix. In the cells marked with blue, the values are equal, and in the cells marked with red, the values are different. Between every pair of rows and between every pair of columns, half of the cells are equal and the other half of the cells are different. Another property is that a Hadamard matrix times its transpose equals n times the identity matrix. In this case, n equals 4. For example, computing the dot product of this row of h and this column of h transpose gives the diagonal value of 4. Hadamard matrices go back a long way. In 1867, James Sylvester explored Hadamard matrices that were powers of 2 in size. His application was number theory. 25 years later, in 1893, Jack Hadamard explored Hadamard matrices with sizes that were multiples of 4. His applications included solving differential equations and statistics. 30 years later, in 1922, Hans Rademacher used Hadamard matrices to perform functional analysis. And in 1923, Joseph Walsh explored permutations of Hadamard matrices, which are now used in error correcting codes. These four mathematicians are credited with developing the Hadamard transform. James Sylvester created a simple recursive construction. He explored Hadamard matrices that are powers of two, and his matrices are symmetric. Here is his process. The smallest Hadamard matrix is the one by one matrix that contains a one. The two by two matrix is made by copying the one by one matrix four times and negating the bottom right corner. The four by four matrix is made by copying the 2x2 two two matrix four times and negating the bottom right corner. The 8x8 eight eight matrix is made by copying the 4x4 four four matrix four times and negating the bottom right corner, and so on. Jacques Hadamard developed Hadamard matrices with sizes that are multiples of four. These matrices can be asymmetric. Here's an example of a 12x12 12 12 Hadamard matrix Note that the top row mostly contains negative ones, and the left column contains all positive ones, so clearly this matrix is not symmetric. Except for the top row and the left column, the diagonals all contain the same values. Joseph Walsh showed that all permutations of Hadamard matrices are also Hadamard matrices. One common permutation is called sequency. Sequency is more or less defined as the number of transitions from 1 to minus 1, or vice versa, within a sequence. So sequency resembles a discrete frequency. The first sample vector is all 1s, so there are no transitions, and so it has a sequency of 0. The second vector has 4 1s, followed by 4 minus 1s, so there is one transition, and it has a sequency of 1. The third vector has two ones, followed by four minus ones, followed by two ones, so there are two transitions, and it has a sequence of two, and so on. This diagram shows how to convert the Sylvester matrix on the left into the Walsh matrix on the right. Note that the first column is the same. The second column of the Sylvester matrix becomes the last column of the Walsh matrix. The third column of the Sylvester matrix becomes the fourth column of the Walsh matrix, and so on. This Walsh matrix is the sequency matrix because the columns are ordered by the number of transitions. Each column has a sequency from 1 to 7. Our goal is to factor integers, 
and in the future we will specifically need the orthogonality property and we will use the Sylvester matrices.